time of the year to start taking down Christmas trees and decorations, but this year, Wisconsin officials are also urging you to follow a specific protocol for certain evergreen items, and that includes wreaths, boughs, and porch pots, because they may be infected with an invasive insect. Our Madeline O'Neill can tell us what we need to know. Maddie? Eric, inspectors have found an insect called elongate hemlock scale, or EHS, in evergreen products sold at large chain stores this season. The infected products come from out of state, but if they aren't discarded properly, officials warn the bug could affect Christmas tree farms here in Wisconsin. This season was a great year for live trees. After a long holiday season, the Hans Christmas farm in Oregon is closed until next year. Much needed relaxation, yes. <laughs> October 18th was my last day off. But the years to come are on owner Greg Hand's mind. I like that I grow something that the families take into their house for such a special holiday. Seems like live trees are just on the upswing. Live trees are good. What could live in them, not so much. I am worried. Officials are warning that an insect known as EHS is being found in evergreen products like wreaths sold at large chain stores in Wisconsin. It eats away at the needles itself. It, it has a fungus that comes onto the bottom side. Hand says it's not in wreaths made from local trees like at his family farm. But unless consumers pitch in, the bug could find its way to Wisconsin farms, too. It's not just a Christmas tree problem. I believe that it should be a state problem that people should be worried about. With Christmas trees, if something like this came in, We'd be treating it for many, many, many years before we even get a crop off. Hand says if the insects end up on his farm, it could mean more pesticides and higher tree costs. We have about 38,000, 39,000 on this farm. To protect Hand's trees and those across the state, plant health officials have some simple solutions. If you don't know where your evergreen decorations were grown, you can burn them or put them in a garbage bag and take them to the landfill. It just takes another second to slide it in a black garbage bag. A couple of extra seconds to keep farms like Hans going strong for years. If we could heed this warning, I think we could keep it out of our state. It's not just Christmas tree farms EHS threatens, but native hemlock and balsam trees in forests, parks, and your yard, too. So make sure to not compost evergreen decorations or leave them out for collection. Instead, burn them or bag them and take them to a landfill, like recommended by the Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection. Eric. Oh, all right. Maddie O'Neill in our newsroom. Maddie, thank you. The Packers.